My dad may not have legs, my dad may not have thumbs, my dad may be in a wheelchair, he's still my dad and I still love him. Neve Bell Ringer grew up in a military family. She missed her father while he fought in Iraq and followed him to a posting in Canada. Nothing could prepare the family for the pain Afghanistan would bring. The doorbell rang, so I went to get it because I thought it'd be one of me or Harry's friends wanting to play with us, but it was these two um, vicars. So Mum went inside with them and closed the door behind her. And then we went upstairs and we heard this scream, this weird screaming, yelling kind of noise. I just couldn't breathe. I couldn't believe what she was saying to me because she kept saying he had high amputations above the knees and I kept, I was, I kept saying, no, they're, they're below the knees. No, she kept saying, no, they're above the, the knees. And then it dawned on me I was going to have to tell the kids. And that was the worst thing, to be able to tell your children that their world has just fallen apart. Warrant Officer Ken Bellringer was given a 10% chance of survival. He'd been trying to help a colleague stuck in mud when a bomb exploded, blowing off both his legs and thumbs and shattering his pelvis. The man who returned to Didcot in Oxfordshire was very different from the soldier who went out to fight. I can remember the first day he was... He just... He just didn't look like my husband at all. He, he looked a lot thinner. His face was the same. He had tubes all over, coming out of his mouth. Um, it really didn't... He looked, he looked like a child. He, he didn't look like Ken. I was just a bit, oh, but I don't, I'm okay with his injuries now because I've learnt to accept it, but at school some, I have been teased about it, people saying that he's a freak and stuff and I've kind of learnt to deal with that now because they're just immature twits, really, <laughs> and they just don't understand. My dad can still love me, my dad can still talk to me when I'm sad. My dad can still play with my little brother because I know that he's strong. I love my dad, he is a hero. We used to go to Watton Towers and go on all the fast rides but it's a bit annoying because now I'm tall enough to go on all the rides but I can't go on all the rides now because I don't want to go by myself and mum won't go on with me and dad can't go on. But become closer. They've become closer to Ken, they've become closer to me. Neve is a second mum to Harry now. She knows if I have a down day that she sorts Harry out. She, she just takes on that mother role now, which is a big role to take on when you're only 12 years old. The Bell Ringer children have lived their whole lives on the move. Now they're packing one last time so their father can live with them in a specially adapted home. I just think about all the guys that, have, that haven't come back, all the guys that have come back broken, all the young men that aren't, aren't the same and the families that have been broken by the war. I'm proud of Dad and I'm just glad we can be not completely normal but as close as normal to possible now. Because now all this chaos is over.